everybody, Phil Brown here with Next Gen Cam. Today I'm going to go over how to use accessibility analysis to create better soft jaws in your workflow. The first thing I'm already done, I've already cut my jaws based on my part as you can see here, is the next step is, is if we were to look at this from the top view down, is it would be impossible to actually slide these jaws open and close without it grabbing onto the part or just making it difficult. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and go up and I'm going to say inspect accessibility analysis. I'm going to pick one of my jaws, whichever one you want to use. I'm also going to pick my direction, which is going to allow me to see in plain sight the red versus the green. Green would be normally machinable, red would not. But another trick for being able to do this is if you double left click followed by a right click and isolate that, what's going to happen is it will actually show you the true red undercutting in your part. So from here, I can now go in Create my sketch, pick my plane. I'm going to go ahead and do nothing more than a simple line. I may open this up just a little bit, so I'll go from here to tangent. As well, down here, I might go a little wider, also going back into tangent. And then I could say E for extrude, or you can use the keys up at the top, and we'll extrude those two notches down and hit OK. Just like that, you could see all that red has been removed. And if I go ahead and unisolate this, again, a double left click into a right click is you're going to notice that one, that red does come back due to the accessibility, but we can turn that off. And then we could actually look at our part from the top down. And again, verifying that we now have that opening there, to be able to open and close that jaw. 